Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me. If you enjoy this channel, please subscribe and also click on that bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. So for today's DIY, we're going to need three of these decorative picture uh, mirror frames, two of the uh, makeup drawers and two of the green um, handheld mirrors that you use that you get at Dollar Tree that I used for a previous project. We're going to remove the back of the this part of the mirror frame and then the mirror itself. And with these two green, I'll call them the green mirrors, with the green mirrors, we're going to glue them to um, the three frames. The way we're going to do this is basically um, we're going to glue the handle part of the green mirror frame onto the black of uh, the middle what's going to be the middle mirror. And then um, right here, what I'm trying to figure out is basically where I want to place the mirrors at on the green one, um, just to make sure that when I do fold it, it's not going to bump into each other or you know not be able to fold and bend like this. So once you figure out the placement of where you want your mirrors and how you want them to fold, either this way or you know whichever way you want them to fold, I chose for it to fold basically inwards. Um, you're gonna get a marker or some something to mark the green green handle of the green frame, like so. And that's just so you can know not to put your middle frame any closer than that. And once you do that to both uh, green mirror handles, you make sure the backing of this middle mirror isn't um, all the way in because you're going to remove it before you do the next step um, after this one. But to go ahead and put something underneath the top of the mirror green frame and then remove the backing of the middle, what's going to be the middle mirror. And we're going to use E6000 and if you want to use hot glue, you can as well. Um, but I'm using E6000 for this part. And right where your black markings that I put, I'm putting um, some Gorilla Glue or E6000 fix all and then also right where um, kind of just eyeballing it where it meets the other part of your frame your black frame like so and then um, just let it lay there and now we're going to do the other opposite side once I remove everything out of my way huh so I already marked the second part, the second mirror, and then you're just going to do the same thing as well, um, like so. Just remember you place the mirrors um, from the, the ones that are gonna be on the side the right way. Um, if you notice, I was kind of flipping it back and forth because one side is where the actual mirror was at already and the other side lays flat. And I chose to do it with the part that lays flat towards the back of what this project's going to be um, for the framing. So it could, the, the two mir mirrors on the side will have a solid piece of uh, mirror backing to be glued to. Now, once you set that aside and let it, um, let the Gorilla Glue get hard, we're going to go ahead and remove one of these parts of your, um, the backings of your, your frames and just cut the part where um, the actual metal part is at that was connected to the actual frame itself. And we're going to use one or two, I'm not too sure yet at this point, um, just make sure you're doing it the bottom of these two drawers to glue these two drawers together. Now, you can either do it um, the way I'm doing it, like this, side by side, or um, one on top of the other, basically stacked um, to do this project. I chose to do it side by side. Now, you can glue one of the frames like so, or what I ended up doing was gluing the two plastic uh, drawers together. Now, you could use E6000 and hot glue. I chose to just use hot glue uh, just for the video purposes. 
But if you're going to do this, go ahead and make sure you put some E6000 or Gorilla Glue or Fix All Glue um, to permanently glue these together. Now, once you do glue those together, remove the drawers. And then we're going to cut the back of one of the other, one of the frames, the, I guess, handles of the pictures just to make it level so we can glue it to the back of our two drawers like so. And make sure you glue it in the middle of the two plastic drawers are connected um, just to give it extra security. And again, use E6000 and hot glue or um, fix all glue to, at this point. But for me, I'm just using this um, hot glue for video purposes. So go ahead and glue that together. Now, once you've glued everything together and it's all nice and dry, go ahead and get all your pieces, your three mirror frames, and then the one frame in the middle with the two green frames connected already to it and spray paint it the color of your choice. I got this on clearance at, um, at Michael's. It's like a blush pink color, so I just chose to use that. I spray painted it let it dry and now I'm, I'm inserting the mirrors back into the frame so i'm showing you how i inserted the one in the middle you kind of just slide it through and do it nice and softly and slowly just to make sure it doesn't crack and then you go ahead and insert your back frame now i didn't show the part or i didn't record myself glue, putting little dots of glue inside the mirror and the frame so go ahead and make sure before you insert the mirror on each side of the um, all four corners at least, add some glue to make sure your mirror stays in place into the big mirror frame. <laughs> now here I'm just adding some hot glue to the actual handle itself to glue to my backing of my mirror. This, and this is why I didn't glue it all completely um, so I could be able to insert the mirror. So I just put that aside and just put something a little bit heavy on top of it um, and gave it some time to dry while I did the rest of my project. Now just go ahead and insert your mirrors to your other two frames and in the backing as well. Again, making sure at least you glue a little bit of, um, put a little bit of hot glue or E6000 on each corner of these frames with the mirror. Now, once it's all done, go ahead and flip it over and just make sure you're happy with where you're going to place your mirrors before you actually start adding the glue to it. And once you are, you can go ahead and um, remove one at a time or both at the same time and then just start adding your um, Fix All Glue, E6000 or Gorilla Glue like I am and then um, a little bit of hot glue just to make sure it stays while it dries. And I just, I'm just adding little dots here and there, but I am adding quite a bit. And then you just go ahead and add your hot glue. And this will give it time, um, the other glue to dry and the mirror to stay in place, the frame. Now, before you glue it, you make sure you line it up and it's um, even in to the other one. And before it glues, has time to glue and stay stiff, go ahead and fold it just to make sure. And I basically left it folded so it could dry that way. And then you do the same to the other side. What color do you think you're going to spray paint yours and what are you going to use it for? I'm using it for my lipsticks, but um, my daughter also said I should put my little um, bracelets and earrings and stuff like that that I'm going to use for the week or what have you. So just go ahead and press on it a little bit just to make sure it's um, staying in place while it has time to dry. And once it's all completely dry, go ahead and get your drawer or your bottom part and um, make sure you know where you're going to place it. And then we're just going to add again some um, 
Fix-All glue or whatever you're going to use, your permanent glue and then also some hot glue. And again, I'm using quite a bit because this is where you're going to be moving your mirrors uh, you know, in and out or what have you and you want to make sure it stays in place and it doesn't fall apart on you. So go ahead and add your hot glue. And make sure you have your middle mirror. Um, you're gluing it right in the middle of your mirror, middle mirror, <laughs> like so. And then just press on it a little bit and let it glue uh, the glue dry, the hot glue. And there you have it. Now just go ahead and add your drawers. And this is the way it looks in the back. And you can put something in the back of those round circles if you like, or just leave it the way I did and just leave it, you know, as is. And then you just insert your drawers and there you have it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Till next time, you guys stay blessed. Bye.